Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Hattie Homemaking where I make videos on homemaking, cleaning and lifestyle. So today I'm doing a different video that I've not done yet, I'm doing a home and bargains haul. So me and Paul are getting married in a couple of weeks and we wanted to do a huge shop so basically we don't have to leave the house pretty much from now till the wedding to avoid being exposed to too many people and places and risk getting you know what so we're probably being a little bit extra but I wanted to do a huge shop today of essentials some cleaning bits I've got some home bits and I just thought it'd be nice to do a big haul and share it all with you so I spent quite a bit of money today but I feel like I got loads of great stuff that everybody needs in their house and then a couple of fun things as well so i'm going to split this video into sections so you can click around the video to the sections that you're most interested in so we have cleaning essentials homeware some fun like tidbits beauty bits and some food as well so i will split it into those sections so that you can click around but without talking too much i'm just going to get straight on into it because i have a lot to show you so the first section i'm going to start with is the cleaning bit since a lot of the videos on my channel recently have been cleaning so I thought I'll stick with that theme for the first portion of this video. So the first thing I got of course is the flora. I'm a huge fan of the flora. I am very very careful with it because I do have a dog but I thought I would try a more autumn autumn I find it really hard to say that autumnal <laughs> scent. So I got the warm cinnamon scent. I'm actually not a huge fan normally of really strong autumn scents and spices and things but I've tried this one before and I actually really do like it just a little bit with some hot water and it smells really nice and it does make you feel all cozy and warm so I got the warm cinnamon zaflora the next thing I got on the cleaning front is the duck toilet cleaner so I got it in very magic scent I've not tried it in this yet normally I just get the pine but I thought I'll be a bit different, why not, and try the Berry Magic scent. That's something I love to do when I'm cleaning. I love trying out different scents. And along that line, I found my daily shower shine that I usually use. But I found it in a new scent, which is Hibiscus Blossom. So usually the one I use is just, it doesn't have any smell at all. So I thought hopefully by getting it in a nice smell, it will encourage me to use it more because it does say daily shower shine, but I don't use it daily so I'm hoping I can just keep this in the bathroom and then every time I get out of the shower it will just be like a nice thing <laughs> hopefully to spray the next thing I got is the Febreze Lenore fabric spray so I got this in a new scent again which is a limited edition in gold orchid so normally again I just use the um the Lenore which one is it the one Mrs Hinch uses, Spring, um, Spring Awakening. So I thought I'd try this new one and I thought because it was sort of gold in my head, I thought it would be more autumn vibes. So I just got another Febreze as well. The next thing I got is another Dr Beckman's. I swear by this if anything gets on the carpet. I just find it really good. So I actually got the pet one this time. Murphy is great. He never really touched wood. There's no wood around me. Oh well. <laughs> touch wood my head so he never normally has any accidents or anything like this but very very occasionally if he's nervous and we've left him he will so I just thought it'd be good to try this out and see how it is but I don't think it'll be any different to the other one the other one is great so I just thought I'd give this a try as well the next thing I got is some fabric softener so I just got the comfort cherry blossom and sweet pea I've smelt this before and it is seriously so nice <laughs> i highly recommend a lot of the comfort scents i also like lenore as well but i feel like you just can't be a really good strong scented fabric softener i feel like it makes all the difference to doing your laundry and it makes it so much more fun the next thing i got is some more minkies so these are just the home and bargains own ones and so they just come in a pack of three which is good and i use these a lot my other minkies probably need to be thrown out now i use them constantly and then wash them in the washing machine just to try and stay away from wipes and things like that so I use these a lot so I just got another pack of these 
I also got another dish matic. So I seen a hack. I think it was on TikTok or maybe in someone else's cleaning video. So you fill this up with a bathroom cleaner and then you can leave it in your shower and then you can clean your shower while you're in it. And I think that's a great thing. I think I've mentioned recently in one of my videos that one of my worst things to clean I hate is my shower. I just hate getting into it and like the water drops on me and I just do not enjoy it at all so hopefully by doing this method and cleaning it a little bit each time when I'm actually in the shower it will negate having to get in and clean it when I'm all clean and dry and then I also just got two dishmatic heads as well just so I can replace that one and our kitchen one as well when they get too dirty and then finally for the bathroom I just got two of these Febreze bathroom air fresheners so I've had these before and I feel like they last ages and they do smell really Really strong so I've just got two of them and I can give one of them to my mother-in-law as well okay so now I'm going to move on to homeware and then we'll go on to essentials after so starting with homeware I got a new candle again with the autumn vibes I went for the gingerbread scented candle and it smells lovely it's not too strong um, but I can imagine once it's lit that will just be super cozy vibe so I treated myself to a new candle I also got myself a new wax but melt burner you can't really tell actually um, I can see in the viewfinder it's not picking up but it's like a pearly pink color I love burning my wax melt so I thought I'd get another one so I can have one in my living room and one in my kitchen so I just thought that was really really nice I feel like home bargains have so many really nice wax melt burners there's loads of like different ones that are quite cottagey and a few different colors so i feel like they have a really good array of wax melt burners so as well because we're getting married i have um my bridesmaids coming very early in the morning and we're getting their makeup done here and then my makeup and hair done in the venue so i wanted the bathroom to feel really fresh and nice so i bought two new hand towels i just got this really nice light pink color um just for the girly pamper vibes i'm going for and then along those lines as well i got a new bath set so it just comes with the um, toilet mat and then a normal bath mat as well and i find that this fabric with the um what's it called the little raised bits <laughs> I have another bath mat like this from Home Bargains that's that fabric and it dries so much quicker than the other style bath mats that seem to just like congeal and hold on to the water. These ones are great. So whenever I look for bath mats now, that is the fabric I like to go for. And then obviously I just love the colour as well. So I feel like I'm going to save this lot for just before the wedding and then put it out for the girls to get ready with. The next thing I got for homeware is is another one of these baskets so I have one of these already and it's actually Murphy's toy box we keep all his toys in it and because it's quite low he can get in it and get his toys out but I wanted to get another one to keep paper in so at the moment we have our printer in a like see-through cupboard in the living room with just paper sitting on top of it and I thought it would look so much nicer if I could put this on top of it and then the paper in there and it would just store it a lot neater and it would just go with our overall sort of theme and decorations in the living room okay so now moving on to essentials so I don't know if this would count as an essential but I got a new um, things to do today pad and I feel like home bargains is great for any sort of stationery like this so it just has your list of everything to do and especially because I love doing cleaning videos at the moment it's really nice to be able to write down everything I'm going to get done and then tick it off at the end and then I thought I'd treat myself to go along with that as well I feel like such a child <laughs> but I got these glitter gel pens I feel like I've not had glitter gel pens since I was probably in primary school and I'm so excited to make a list with these so I just thought how can I not treat myself to these so I don't know if these two count as an essential but in my head they are <laughs> so now moving on to things that really are an essential so I'm gonna kind of blast through these because I don't think you want a whole explanation on some of the things such as kitchen roll <laughs> so I just got a big thing of kitchen roll and then I also got a big thing of toilet roll as well just so we're all stocked up before the wedding 
don't need to go out and get any essentials we have everything we need i then got two big hand soaps um i just get the peony bloom um i think it's just oh yeah it's the astonish brand so i always just get two of them one for my kitchen and one for my bathroom i then got some shower gel so i just get the nivea shower gel i just got it in two different scents that i've used before one is orange and avocado oil and one is the relax my favorite from nivea is actually um it's like a rose i think it's like rose and pearl oh it's like the nicest scent ever and they did have it there but it was only in a small one and i feel like you just get such better value for money with the big ones so i left my favorite scent today and i was sensible and got the big ones so the next thing i got is things for my bath so first of all i got a radox and um, the sleep one i thought maybe i can use that the night before the wedding i don't think it will have much <laughs> impact i think sometimes with bath gels and things like that like the sleep the muscle soak sometimes I think it's just marketing and it's just a different scent but I thought in my head sleep maybe that will help me sleep <laughs> and then also for the bath I got some Epsom salts as well so you may know if you watch my channel that I haven't been very well recently I'm on the mend now um but I just thought Epsom salts will help with any ongoing like muscle pains and things like that so I'm gonna have a nice bath with that tonight and my redox relax and just have a little pamper session so along the lines of not being well as well I have been using hot water bottles on repeat but I get a lot of stiffness and soreness in my neck this is nothing to do with not being well I've always just had a sore neck I think it stems from having quite bad posture that I have been working on this year but I thought this was great it's a heat wrap and I'm gonna open it actually and show you what it's like so it's long like that and you can put it in the microwave and then it goes warm and I just thought I could put it around my neck like so and it can just help with the pains I get in my neck and I think it's got a scent as well yeah it's lavender scent so hopefully that'll be nice and relaxing as well and this was only three pounds as well so I was not this is one of these things that you don't go in planning to buy but it's just you see something you're like wow <laughs> how can I leave it so the next thing I got is just paracetamol and ibuprofen I feel like you've always got to have them in the house and yeah just stocking us up on them the next essential i got is toothpaste so i got one big one and one little one and then we can use this little one and take it on our honeymoon um i just get the colgate original simple i don't i normally just get the toothpaste that's the cheapest to be honest i'm not fussy the next thing i got is some foil i'm not going to talk too much about foil because that would be very boring i also got us some new toothbrushes i like to replace our toothbrushes pretty much every month it's just like a thing in my head i just don't like using a toothbrush for too long so i got us both um a new toothbrush the next thing i got is some sun cream so i just got the 50 plus sun cream i'm a stickler for sun cream these days i feel like i had one training session in work about the effects of the sun and everything and i now i'm just constantly dousing myself in spf so even though it's september in the uk we are going to cornwall for our honeymoon and apparently it has a different climate down there so i thought i'll get that just in case to bring with us i then just got some bin sacks and again not going to talk too much about bin sacks <laughs> and then i got some carmex as well i like to get the carmex that's in the tube i just find it so much easier to get out than those little pots and I was looking at um, all the lip balms. They've got loads. They've got those EOS lip balms as well that were really popular about five years ago on YouTube. I remember Zoella and Sprinkle of Glitter and all that talking about them. Um, and as I was looking at them, a little girl, she was so cute. She walked up and she just said to me, every time I look at lip balm, I get dry lips. <laughs> I just didn't know what to say. I was like, all right, okay, me too. <laughs> and then I also bought a new deodorant. I love this Mitchum deodorant. I have the roll on one, um, but I just thought I'd get the spray one as well. This is actually the deodorant I'm going to use on my wedding day because it's just the best I've ever used. And I also bought some more hairspray, just the L'Oreal Elmet Stronghold hairspray for when I eventually do try and curl my hair even though it never seems to stay in these days i feel like i went through such a good stage of using my heated rollers 
where it would stay in and then recently I curl my hair and it just drops within an hour so I thought hopefully this will help me out a little bit with that. Okay now I'm going to move on to food and drink and I don't think you can call it a proper food and drink section it's literally just sweets. So for our wedding we have a sweet cart but we they provide the jar the jars and like the cart and everything but we have to fill it up. So we went to Costco and we got loads of the like the big you know the boxes of different sweets but because some of the jars on there are quite small I wanted to get some more different ones just for the variety so I wanted to get a few sweets that have loads of different colours so I will show you what I got so I got two things of Mawam stripes this was my mother-in-law's request I asked her what her favourite sweets are she doesn't normally have sweets but she said the one that she does like is them so I got a two of them I also of course had to get love hearts so I got two of them as well and I'm hoping as well we could just put some of them on the tables as well as a little extra decoration. The next thing I got is shrimps and bananas. <laughs> I mostly got them just because I have really pretty like pink and yellow colours and I think they would look really nice on the sweet cart. Finally my personal favourite sweet I got squashies so I just got them in the two different colours. I couldn't find the pink and white ones which are my favourite but these will have to do. And then finally I just got a big bottle of Coke Zero. Me and Paul do like Coke Zero. I know it's not the healthiest for you, but we do just enjoy Coke Zero with our dinner. So that is everything I bought from Home and Bargains today. We are getting super excited now for the wedding. So I'm going to go and tidy up the house and put all this stuff away and just, yeah, get really excited. I think by the time this video goes up, I might be a couple of days away from my wedding or maybe I will be married. I'm actually not sure, uh, but it will be a lot closer for you than it will be for me anyway. So it's getting really exciting times. I really hope you have enjoyed this Home Bargains haul. If you have, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.